and episode... I have no idea. I think it's... I think we're on our fourth episode of episode three. The fourth part of episode... <laughs> anyway. Irons, tongs, and other instruments are arranged very messily over this blacksmith's stand. That's Grand important. Makes note to be careful when walking near. That's very important there. It's locked shut with a padlock. How could Graham possibly open it? I don't have a... Oh. Let me talk to the butterfly. Stay strong. I'll save you. That didn't seem to give the butterfly <laughs> much hope, Graham. <laughs> Do something quick. Ah. Ah. Tis beyond his reach. Is beyond my reach. God, what is that from? Was that King's Quest? It is beyond my reach. That won't work. <sighs> Butterfly, I'm trying. If it makes you feel any, but then we'd both be wrong. <laughs> Shush! Stop making fun of me. Graham considered. Oh no, the butterfly is trapped. And to make things w <laughs> Oh no. What if I just grab the web? Tis beyond his reach. It's not that the web isn't. I can grab the web. I'm sorry, little butterfly. Tis beyond God, what is that from? That may have even been Mask of Eternity. Tis beyond my reach. Hey, buddy. Tell me, merchant. Yes? Well, what was that? Oh, do you wish to trade me an old lamp for a fine new one? No, sorry. I was just wondering. Your trade relies on the hope of you someday finding... Yeah, we've... I... Thank you. And have you ever actually... Uh, well... And how long have you... Uh, we've... And you have... Uh, we did this I must... in the last Good one. Yeah, we've already done that one before. I'm sorry, little butterfly. I'm working on it. I promise you. Is that a lamp? is generous. That's yeah, not a lamp. All right, that was the map guy. I don't think there's Maps? any. Uh, is your loved one feeling down? Then, but honey, fine map. No lamps for. Old lamps for no. Graham could imagine many ways that the tools could come in handy, but the blacksmith needs them to do his. All right, I want to buy something from you. Graham doesn't. Could. You don't know that. You might need them. Huh. I still can't open this, can I? Oh, my. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I was trying to open the door. Can I still do that thing before where I... I Unfortunately. That lock is bothering me. Hmm. What could be... I don't know, but I don't have anything to open it. How do you do again? Just fine. I'm all... Alright, so that's... that's not gonna get me anywhere. Stay strong. That didn't do. There is no. Uh, don't stress me. I've. I'm doing horribly. I haven't solved a single riddle. Honey drops. Get your sweet honey drops here. For your sweet honey today. I haven't solved a single riddle in this game in like five parts already. Graham doesn't need. He has. Oh, there could be someone important in there. But fair enough. <laughs> Good luck, little butterfly. I will. <sighs> I am convinced. I missed something important. There. I'm just going to head out here and see if there's anyone to talk to. And I don't really want to go sailing to any of the islands yet. I just want to see if there's anything out here. Anything? No, you're going to take me sailing, which I really don't want to do yet. 
Alright. So I have a feeling that there's just... There's something obvious I'm missing. I need to refocus and rethink. Some type of trick is being played on the smith. Item-wise... Seema once told me this necklace was a gift from her grandmother when she was a child. She said she kept it with her to remember how her grandmother always told her everything would be alright when she was sad or upset. I wonder if I can give that back to Kasima. One use only. Yeah, I know. You've already used it. Graham hopes no one's tried having tea in this cup. If Graham handles the fake arm with care, he doesn't want to be poisoned accidentally. Good call. So you just don't have anything. <laughs> I'm not doing a very good job of thinking right now. I'm kind of rushing things. What would? Uh, I I was seeing if that was a feather or something on the floor there. It's a point-and-click game. You could do something with anything. So that's the other very fun part about these games that a lot of people get upset about is they come up with a solution, and it's very frustrating to see the player not come up with that same solution, but, you know, as I was saying before, I, I got a chance to play uh, Silver Lining with my sister, and uh, I kind of sat back and let her play, but it was so neat, like, this is kind of where my video game life started, playing uh, Silver Lining, you know, playing King's Quest games with her, and then to see it, like, now, I don't know, it was, it was neat. Hey, buddy. Good day, Sullivan. Good day, King. What exactly happened with Valinus? I'm afraid I'm as clueless as you are. I was gathered with the guards in the main hall, giving them an outline of the plans to follow, when the Queen suddenly interrupted us. Interrupted you? How? Valinus rarely gets involved in military movement. Oh, no, it was nothing like that. She just came running down the stairs as if she were escaping from something. She kept screaming as if she were talking to someone, pleading to be left in peace. I immediately alarmed my guards, and they searched the entire castle, but no stranger was found. Who was she talking to, then? I'm afraid I can't answer that question. The Queen was very disturbed, and perhaps this was just her mind creating illusions. Valanice is not going mad. I didn't mean to imply that, sire. They only meant that the stress of recent events is surely taking a toll on her. It's more than that. It's a lot more than that. Do you think what happened to Valanice could be linked somehow to the recent events with my children? I don't know. It's a possibility, but there was no one there. You mustn't forget that this being is very powerful in magic. Perhaps you didn't see it, but Valanice did. That is something only the Queen can answer. Have you found anything relevant about the cloaked man at the wedding? No. I have sent emissaries to question and search all over the Green Isles, but we haven't been successful. No one has heard of or seen the stranger before. You surely must have a hypothesis. I don't base investigations upon suppositions. Only when I have a solid set of clues can I give you a report. I see your loyalty to my son. How do you find him as a king? King Alexander is a righteous governor, and very just when it comes to the distribution of wealth oh, excuse amongst me. the lands. He's very intelligent when making decisions, if stubborn at times. He's still young. And I'm aware of that, and it's why I try to give him some advice without trying to make decisions for him. I will always support the king's decision. Because it's Alexander, or just to the crown? I'm loyal to the crown, but King Alexander is also to my liking. All right. Well, that got me nowhere. I'll be getting back to <laughs> helping my family now. Damn. Good luck. I'll watch over the queen. Thank you. Yeah, you it's do that. Duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> Sorry. Trying to get into that. Gotta have fun, relaxing mindset. That disturbance is certainly That's something, it. though. Now. Give that necklace back to her. See if that gets me anywhere. You know, the, the truth of it is, I just... I'm 
So we've got two potential puzzles to solve, and neither one have gotten us anywhere. Cosima? Yes? Is this your necklace? Yes. It's a family heirloom. Excuse Why? Me. May I please borrow it? That necklace is very precious to my family. It's for them, isn't it? Yes. Take it. Just wake him, them up, please. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be for anything. I didn't know if there was something else she was going to tell us about it or, you know. Damn. So I've really got nowhere. We've got the butterfly to solve, and we've got the distraction to create. And I have a feeling that something that we're going to find in that throne room as a tool is going to wind up helping us save the butterfly, which is going to start us on this quest. It's this first quest that we're not getting. Of course. Let's tip the statue over and break it. That would make everyone feel better <laughs> about the current situation. <laughs> I'm trying to make a distraction. What's a good idea? Shut up. Graham considered. Unfortunate. Go out. <sighs> Convinced that the out. Well, you know what? I haven't tried Ed's room. There's no point. All right. You know we. Wonder if I can tell her, like, hey, can you just keep the guard dog up here for me for like two minutes? I really, I'm very surprised though that it wasn't like leaving the cloak or something like that because it it would be returned to us. She would tell us, you know, hey. Yes. All right. I'd better. Thank. Whatever. You're worthless. stupid girl <laughs> they certainly ramped up the difficulty on this one I, I'm not able to put a solution in my head I'd be very very surprised too if it required me going out to the different islands with no direction at all I mean, it's possible but I, I would be very surprised at that I'm surprised that it's not just like that won't work if it makes you feel but then you would not shut up This is the cloak. Graham consider that one. If it makes the thing. Damn. Ah. Oh wait, what is that room? We have not tried that room yet. It won't there's no point. That's the door as painful seeing it's So we got rid of bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm not sure. But, uh, I am going to cut off here. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching. Tune in the next, and I will see if I can make some progress. Thanks for watching, folks.